Hi, this is Kremen Partner, and welcome back to Let's Play Valkyrie Profile. On the last video, we uh, finished up the last of our dungeons for Chapter 7, and all that's left is to set up our Einherjar. Now, Freya is wanting a mage for this chapter, um, a mage with 110 hero value. Now, I am going to send the chicken girl, Yume, because she's really the only one that can hit 110 hero value, um, with me only giving her one level. Lyceria technically could, but she wouldn't have the points to uh, cover up any of the other traits. And again, um, Lyceria is bugged. If you send her up, you will never see her again. So yeah, we'll be sending up Yume. Now, one of the requirements that Freya wants is Undead Int. So we're going to use a Skull of Devone, which will cover the Undead Int trait. Give her 2,000 experience. Now let's go ahead and remove those items now. And equip the Skull of Devone. And let me go ahead and re-equip the Bracelet of Zoe back on Valkyrie. Um, while I'm at I'm going to go ahead and put the Creation Jewel on also. Alright, uh, traits are next. Now again, I need to hit 110. That'll work. 112, I got 50 points remaining. Um, the other two traits I need are Avoid and Resist Magic. And that should do it. So let's go ahead and transfer Yume up. And we are ready to burn through nine periods. Now, this sacred phase will be a little different, depending. Um, it has been a long time. Again, since I'm, you know, locked into the ANs in because I sent up Lucian and I'm under 38 hero value, uh, we'll see a few scenes here. Um, also, if you're playing on easy difficulty, this will be a little different. Also, it'll be just like any other um, sacred phase. I have bad news to report. One of the Einherjar that you sent us has betrayed the Lord Odin. What? Come on, not my Einherjar. They're all a uh, great A quality. His name is Lucian. He was executed by Loki, who happened to be present at the time. Oh, happened to, huh? The Dragon Orb was stolen and possibly sent to Midgard. We do not know exactly where it is. Leneth, perhaps you have some ideas. Yep. I sure do. In fact, um, Lenith, I have a very important mission yeah. for you. Yeah. She apparently doesn't want to hear my ideas. You must go to Midgard and retrieve the stolen dragon orb. May fate Now, guide even though your hand. she isn't going to tell me the how uh, magnificent the job I'm doing, I still do get evaluated for my Einherjar. I expect good news. And you'll notice I got the sword Gram. Um, Gram is one of the weapons you can get randomly. Um, in fact, I would almost recommend you saving and reloading um, until you get the Gram if uh, you use a lot of Swordsmen on your team. Because, I mean, you know, Gram's worth 100,000 materialized points, where on average the other weapons that you could get are worth only, you know, say, 7 or so. 7,000. Um, you also notice I did get Might Reinforce. I am going to be giving that to Mustina. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's move on. So we get a nice recap here. Of course, Lucian's not gonna win. Ooh, yeah. And apparently, Einherjar, who already died in Midgar, can die again. Anyway, Odin's a little slow on the uptake, and he's just finding out about the Dragon Orb. So they're gonna go uh, interrogate their uh, only witness.
And conveniently, uh, Loki has a pretty good alibi considering uh, Lucian used the water mirror to give Valkyrie that earring. So, yeah, it, it looks like, you know, he uh, dumped the dragon orb in Midgard. But, you know, that doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, why would he do that? I mean, how would he even know about how the water mirror works unless someone told him? Anyway, it looks like Odin is uh, erring on the side of caution here, since they don't really have any proof to say that Loki did or didn't do it. Yeah, so even Freya realized it, it, it just doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense that Lucian would do this. Yep, so it almost seems like they have some sort of justice system here. I mean, it looks like almost uh, innocent until proven guilty, seeing as uh, they don't have any uh, evidence to pin it on Loki. I'm going to send you one of these earrings, and I want you to take it. But the other one is hidden somewhere else. Alright, so we really do get to start Chapter 8 now. Um, new weapons and armor available. In fact, um, the weapons here in particular are pretty much on par with the kind of stuff I was making back in Chapter 4. You know, it, it took, what, four chapters, but it's finally caught up. I mean, look at the Valkyrie Favor. 1600 attack, uh, you know, three attacks. Um, in particular, I remember the Bahamut tier was pretty good. You know, 3 attacks, 1200 damage, but if you look at the uh, uh, special ability, is your uh, Purify Weird Soul does 30% uh, more damage. Not really a bad ability, and you know, there's some weapons like this throughout. Um, you know, that's not too bad, I mean, you know, obviously the Elven Bow still easily outclasses this, but it's not bad. As far as armor is concerned, I need to get 2 Valiant Helms. The Seraphic Garlands for Valkyrie. Um, Valiant Armor I don't need. Both the Mithril Plate and the Reflect Armor are better than this. But I do want to get a Seraphic Garb for Valkyrie. Now I'm also going to get a Supreme Garlands for my Mage for those times when I'm fighting something that um, actually uses a Holy Damage attack. You know, those times when I don't want to use the Mask of the Undead King. Or the Dead King, rather. Um, I don't need the Supreme Garb, both the uh, Sylphan Robe and the Robe of Bretagne uh, outclass this easily. Don't need those. I do need three Valiant Greaves, and there are no Mage Boots. Um, while I'm at it, I'm also going to start stocking up some items. Just because I'm, I'm finally at that point where there's really not a whole lot to buy. Ah, uh, that'll do it for now. Anyway, let me go ahead and get all that equipped. Alright, that'll do it. Anyway, um, yeah, that'll cover everything for equipment. Um, something else to mention. If you're already set for the A ending, meaning you you know you sent up Lucian in chapters uh, five or six, and you had less than 38 hero value in chapter seven, and got those scenes that I showed you earlier, if you don't feel like doing the the next dungeons, you can just go straight to the Weeping Lily Meadow, and it'll already start through uh, the whole sequences that'll lead you to the final dungeon of the A ending. Um, obviously, I'm going to be showing those dungeons, but it is just something to know. Anyway, I have a little bit of time, so I'm going to go ahead and just do the spiritual concentration. Now, 
Now this dungeon that's going to be coming up is only available in normal and hard difficulty. In fact, if you're playing easy, the only quote unquote dungeon you have is the Cave of Oblivion for this chapter and that's it. So, yep, we're going to go to the Palace of the Dragon. And I'm going to go ahead and stop here, go ahead and save. Um, yeah, next video we will explore our first dungeon of Chapter 8, the Palace of the Dragon. Anyway, this is Crime and Partner. Thanks for watching. See you next, Crime.